Hi, this is Kevin with Cognition Mobile talking about the DirecTV Remote Plus shortcut add-on. Uh, just explaining a little bit about what it is, how it works, and why you might want it. One thing I want to point out uh, first is you notice after the app is installed, uh, most apps will say open and uninstall when you're in the market. Uh, this one just says uninstall. The reason for that is because it's not really a normal app. It's uh, specifically for making shortcuts or widgets depending on uh, which Android device you're using. So that's why there is no open. Uh, it's not a problem with the app. It's just the way it works. So what we're going to do is show you how that works. I've already created some shortcuts or widgets. Uh, I've put them in a folder on my phone here. You can see I've got uh, for closed captioning. Uh, I got one for a, a macro that I, re I recorded. Uh, channel up and down, on now mini guide. I got a favorite channel in there and some volume buttons. So what I'm going to do here is show you on a few different devices how you set this up. This one is a Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this you, you always start by long pressing on the home screen. You're going to hit apps and widgets. On the Galaxy it's listed under widgets. You can see it at the top here there's a shortcut for it so you hold that and then drag it to your home screen and then uh, you could choose what kind of shortcut you want so I'll just do a remote button you could choose the destination receiver I usually leave it on whichever was used last you could specify it if you want I'll choose my button here uh, well, I'll just do play so I'm going to choose a shortcut for the play button. Uh, I got a shortcut name. It's got a default of play. You could change the icon to a generic one if you want. If you don't want some weird looking buttons on your screen there. Hit create. And now there's my play button. I could drag it over here into the folder if I want. And now I could just press this button. And that will send the play command to the current DirecTV receiver. On the HTC One, they do things a little differently. So you can see I've already got a few set up here. So you're going to, once again, long press on your screen. Now on the HTC, it's not listed under widgets, it's actually listed under shortcuts. So we are on shortcuts. We're going to go to the DirecTV Remote Shortcut Add-on. In this case, you could tap it or you could drag it to a screen you want. I'll just drag it, put it there, and now once again I could choose what I want. I'll do a remote button uh, for the blue colored button and hit create. And now I could just, uh, if I'm done, there's my blue button. Next up we have the LG G-pad. This one's uh, done a little bit differently yet again. Uh, once again it is listed under widgets. You can see I've got a few that I've already created there. So once again you long press and then we will go down make sure we are on widgets. Now we are. And there's my DirecTV remote shortcut right there in the corner you can see it. I could drag that over to a screen. And then here I am once again. I could choose what I want. I'll do a remote button again. And we'll do channel up. Hit create. And there's my channel up button. Now one thing that's uh, kind of neat on the LG here, you could resize them, you just long press, it'll bring up that little icon there. And now we could, you got a choice of one by one or two by two. We'll change it to two by two. And now we've got even a bigger button there, a bigger shortcut, you can see compared to the other ones. 
So that's pretty much how this works. Uh, again, it's you could send commands to your DirecTV receiver or even volume through the volume plugin right from a home screen. Thank you.